you doing guys? Uh, today we're going to take a look at the 1955 RJ35. Kind of go through what's good, what's bad, what's missing, and what my plans are. So what makes this a special RJ I guess? Or what does it make it a early 55? And I guess we'll just kind of go from front to back if you don't mind and take a look at it. First off, we'll go right from the front, the front axle. The front axle is an early 55 or early uh, production part on the basis that it has actual nuts welded onto the uh, spindle tube, I guess you call it, to hold the grease fittings in. Uh, later on or early in production, the nut welding went away and they just tapped the tube itself for the grease fitting. The other indicator that this is an early 55 or early production 55 is there's no um, axle stop. Uh, the first run had no axle stops. Um, the second one had just a piece of band iron that went all the way across the front of the frame. That's what kept the axle from articulating crazily. Uh, and then later on they just made little tubes, or excuse me, not tubes, little tabs of band iron. Somebody drilled and welded or I should say drilled and tapped the bolts into place here I guess to keep the axle from articulating way up in any event these holes will have to be welded up and smoothed out because there is no indicator whatsoever on the front of this frame that it ever had um, one of the axle stops in place. Uh, next is the front rims and tires they are incorrect they're basically wheelbarrow rims um, with spacers front and back. There's a spacer right here and then there's a spacer right here to get the proper offset. Um, you know, nothing wrong with it. Classic RJ fix when these these uh, rims rot out and fall off, um, but incorrect for the 55. I do have a group of parts that I'll talk about in a little while. Um, next, somebody drill a hole into this axle, or excuse me, this spindle. So this spindle's junk. We'll get rid of it and replace it with a new one. Uh, let's see next. Oh, next would be it would have been a cable steer, uh, but somebody obviously has swapped it over to a link system. Very common with these tractors because, as we have talked about, or as I've talked about numerous times, there's a lot of issues with those cables snapping. So they just went warranty work, just swapped it over to a link, and then they eventually they went to the link completely for production. Next, uh, tank stand. This is the support tank stand for the gas tank, which would have been a large Clinton tank. This tank that's in it is obviously incorrect. The brake kit that's on it is not a wheel horse brake kit. It was uh, manufactured by the prior owner. He did a very good job on it actually. Um, but incorrect for a 55, it would have had a solid bar link to the brake band if there was one. There's all indicators on this tractor that it never had a brake kit except for the one that the prior owner made. Um, so this is going to go. Obviously these hand grips on the, on the foot pegs are, are no longer needed. This needs to be welded up. Obviously the hole here for this bracket needs to be welded up. This hole is original. This is where the spring went from, uh, obviously the hood stand, down to the lift arm. And that's what would bring the lift arm up. Lift arm is missing from the tractor, so I will have to remanufacture it. It would be a solid one, not a thumb release, because it doesn't have the clip-in point or the clip notch here. Plus this indicates that it was a solid arm, lift arm at one time. There are classic, a million holes in the frame as you would expect with any RJ35 for some reason everybody goes drill happy there's an extra hole here there's an extra hole here there's an extra hole oops sorry extra hole back here obviously they had a couple different motors on it at one time these look to be the originals uh, we did have a Clinton uh, originally that's what these came with plus with the offset uh, drain hole that confirms that it would have been a Clinton. Also early, there's no hole here to, for the uh, lift cable clamp to keep the lift cable in place. Obviously the lift cable and the rear hitch itself is missing. I'll have to remanufacture all those. Uh, there's an extra hole here. There's an extra hole here. All that needs to be welded up. Uh, 
on the hood. I guess we'll jump to the hood next. Uh, it did have a brass kill switch at one time. That would have been uh, correct for an early RJ, but obviously it's gone. The hood is a correct no-name hood. It does have the name on it, but it's just stickers. But it is got a pretty good coat of bondo on it. It's pretty thick. Um, the angles are, are not correct. They're too broad. The corners are too broad. The front is too flat. So there's some work that has been done to this hood. Um, and we'll discuss that later. The seat, this is a later model seat. This is incorrect uh, for uh, a 55 RJ, just basically flat out, not even an early one. Um, so that needs to be replaced. The steering wheel, this would have had probably an aluminum, mini aluminum steering wheel, but obviously that's gone. Uh, at minimum, I guess you would call it, it would have had a small iron steering wheel. That's what this tractor would have had. Uh, so this is incorrect. This will have to be replaced. We go to the back of the tractor and we take a look at this bracket. This bracket is incorrect. Um, it's not even a wheel horse part. It'll have to be taken off. Classic, more holes to fill in with the welder. Um, interesting thing of note, there's a ribbed hub on the left side and a ribbed hub on the right side that would indicate to me that this never had a brake kit on it which would be correct for an early 55. Um, the prior owner indicated that he did kind of manipulate or remanufacture the paws that are in here. From my experiences that's typically something that's not very good uh, so I'll probably have to replace the hubs or excuse me replace the paws the hubs I'm going to try to fix because I don't want to get rid of those those are original one thing I did notice somebody drilled and tapped the end of the axle to hold the hubs on that's wrong it should have had a c-clip uh, holding this on or a cotter pin more like a c-clip because the c-clip was the earlier style these tires, these are these are real nice. I mean, these are beautiful Carlisles. I mean, these are 50 bucks. These were like 50 bucks a piece at the time. Um, they're in real nice shape. I, pr I do have a set of original BFGs that would have gone on this um, tractor. I don't know if I'm gonna use these or the BFGs. We'll see as time progresses. We come around to the other side. It has the large drive pulley that is correct for a 55, an early 55. Um, they went to the smaller six inch style uh, to give it a little bit more ground speed because this thing, they, you can stumble faster than this thing will actually drive. Um, the very drive is in real good shape. I don't even think I'll have to do much to it, um, but it is in good shape. Belt guard is completely incorrect, homemade. So I do have an, a belt guard for it, so that'll get replaced. One thing I did notice, and I don't know if I'm gonna be able to get in. There we go, let's try that. Right here, this bar, which holds to the spring, it must have broke at one time. Let me get this thing out of the way. It must have broke at one time, so the, somebody bugger snot welded it up, so that's gotta get fixed. So I'll probably have to get cut off from here, and um, I'll probably have to get cut off and redone. Again, a little bit of pitting on the frame that will all get fixed. This is a homemade speed selector arm. It's done very well, but it's the wrong proportions and the wrong thickness. So we'll have to take that apart and redo that. Um, there's some weird chewy marks here. There's looks like there's another hole here at one time. And, you know, so all that will have to get fixed and welded up. No big deal. Oh, somebody had an exhaust on it at one time, which is incorrect for a 55 or early 55. Would have just had a um, like a stumpy muffler that comes out of the exhaust port. So these got to get filled in. You know, again, the pitting in the frame just gets a little coated cheese, and that'll get fixed. So in a nutshell, that's what we have. What am I actually going to do with the tractor? I am going to convert it back to an early production 1955 or as close as I possibly can based on the parts that I have and parts that I can get. Uh, one thing I am going to do is I am going to make this a fiberglass hood RJ and if anybody thinks that there wasn't actually a fiberglass hood RJ, here's a picture of one right now.
that one was for sale a while back. Um, there's only a couple of fiberglass hood RJs known to exist. I think only like two, to be honest with you, maybe three at most. Then there's my prototype, which I made the fiberglass hood for. Um, came out mint. So this one is going to become a fiberglass hood early production RJ35. Uh, I'm going to show you the parts uh, that I have already for it, and then we'll go from there. Now that we've looked over the uh, tractor, here are some of the parts that I have pulled out of my uh, parts bins, I guess you call it, um, in order to get this project rolling. And for starters, I pulled out a nice set of RJ spindles I had. It doesn't have that drill hole in the end, whichever, for whatever reason, the originals or the ones that are on the tractor have these are in real nice shape they just need to be basically sandblasted and repainted um, as i indicated before that tractor probably had an aluminum steering wheel on it originally because of its early production um, i guess attributes uh, this one happens to be a iron reproduction uh, piece which i will initially use on the tractor but i may be uh, making a new one Oh, I should have been making an aluminum one for it that I've used this wheel on other tractors it's the reproductions by Bill Jenkins are real nice obviously I'm going to use one of my cable steer kits on it to put it back to a cable steer this is one of a couple early RJ seats I have this one's probably the nicest one out of them all there's really no pitting involved on this tr seat that bracing is real solid um, there's no rot. There was really no rust on it. This will get scuffed and repainted. Um, this belt guard is kind of interesting. I made this belt guard a number of years ago. Sold it on a tractor. And it has made its way back to my shed. Um, exact replica of the original. Yeah, paint it red. Nobody would even know. And the only difference is this thickness of this metal is a little bit thicker than the original, but gives it a little bit more strength. Um, these rims, I was nice enough to be sold. A guy sold them to me. Uh, this guy is real nice. He's helped me out a lot. I've helped him out a lot. So we go back and forth. These rims are not RJ rims. They're actually early Cub Cadet cart rims that look just like an RJ rim. We'll go through. Uh, the process of converting these rims to an RJ rim in a later video. Both of them are real nice. As we saw with the axle, there was some messed up parts. They got the bolts holding the hubs on. Um, so I ripped or pulled out this axle from another tractor that was getting just basically parted up and it was a piece of junk. So I'm going to reuse this axle. The owner, the prior owner, said that he had made some new paw, paw arms. Um, typically, what I see is they're pretty, they're pretty rudimentary. So I had these paws in a bin. So I pulled them out. Probably going to use them also. Um, I do have a gas tank for it. It's buried. I'll take that out at a later date. But this is the loose parts. So as you can tell, there's going to be some work involved uh, with this tractor. It has been restored once before and it is missing a number of parts. So for me, this is a perfect project to do what I like to do is to bring it back to as close to original as possible and add some little features to it in order to make it a little bit more interesting tractor. At the end of the day, will anybody ever actually know or realize what I've done? Unless they watch the videos, probably not. At the end of the day, I don't do it for other people. I do it for myself. So I enjoy it. I just like making the videos. Hopefully you enjoy watching just the tractor transform from basically a nice tractor. I mean, I could just drive it the way it is into something that's a little bit more special and a little bit more fun. So this is the start. Hopefully you're interested in it. Um, leave comments if you'd like, please. And we'll talk shortly. Thanks, guys.